the prophet muhammad peace be upon him when we say that he was created free from any defect a poet puts it very well by saying khuliqta mubarra'an min kulli aybin you have been created free from every defect when you looked at him he was so pleasant they describe his face for you and i and say wajhuhu ka'annahu qit'atu qamar his face was as though it was a piece of the moon moonlight moonlight lit well you look at him so pleasant mashallah because allah created him that way perfect no bad qualities from the beginning no habits that ever needed any rectification or correction they knew him as the most truthful the most trustworthy in arabic how do you say that as sadiq al amin most truthful most trustworthy because he was about to come with a message if he was not truthful and not trustworthy there would have been no point in sending the message through a man like that so when you look at it in that society already the preparation was happening they knew him honest trustworthy honest trustworthy the companion said if this man did not lie to us about worldly matters he would never lie to us about heavenly matters because he was always honest and trustworthy there we go but the day he came with that message guess what happened they immediately said some of them who did not know him well some of the leaders and the cronies they said he's a liar and if you go back the only people who said he was a liar were those who did not know him anyone who knew him close range believed immediately subhanallah what does it go to show it goes to show to this day if you recognize nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you will immediately know he is truthful but if you do not recognize him you begin to dilly dally that's it give him a chance people say i want to learn about islam give me the quran ah, good enough mashallah we can give you but as a point of entry rather read the seerah of the prophet first sallallahu alaihi wasallam you understand what i'm saying as a point of entry maybe you need to get acquainted with the man who brought the message whom allah chose to be our leader read about him then when you start with the quran it will put some context into it but it's not wrong to go straight into the quran i have so many people say i'm interested to know about islam can you give me a copy of the quran right i would give you but i will tell you give you another book this is a beautiful book on the seerah can you take this and just read this first and then you go into the quran